monitoring this weekend? Oh man, uh, it, it, I think uh, I want to say we've got maybe ten guys. Yeah, ten guys in that group. So is it, are they all? I mean, not all of those guys are. Exhausting their eligibility. There's some guys that have uh, that have been in college for four years that are, I think, still making decisions on kind of what, what it's going to look like. Just kind of like the other sports, right? Where um, they want to go ahead and have the recognition, um, just in case, kind of one of those things. So um, I think I think the number may be ten for us. And Saturday is that a little? That's a little different than you guys have done. It is a little different. Um, I think it was. Partly because Mother's Day is Sunday, and there's something for Mother's Day as well. Um, it's, typically, if it's Mother's Day and Senior Day, there's just a lot extra stuff going on, so we kind of wanted to do it on two separate days. So you guys are going to TBA on Sunday. Yeah. Is it just going to how the weekend plays out? Or? Yeah, we got to do what it takes to, to win You know, each day. Uh, so um, you could probably imagine who the candidates would be for Sunday. Um, but if we got to use some of those guys, we feel like could help us win the first two days. We'll do that, and if whoever's left is, is who we'll start on Sunday. We didn't really ask you much about Brockett last night, yeah. but how did how did that kind of look? I guess and following up the new interview. Yeah, I thought it looked great. I mean, there's there's a lot to that, right? I mean, they're on the graphic on the scoreboard is talking about it before the game, and um, you know, there's all kinds of national publicity that goes along with it, and you know, it's one thing to go from having something, everything to prove and going and proving it and then actually backing it up. I thought he pitched great. I thought he, his, his fastball attack was great. Um, obviously, the only blemish was a pop-up that fell in the infield and, you know, hit the follow that for that. So uh, for what what we've continued to see from him, it was a great sign. Good to hear those. Yeah. Look, you talk about midweek and weekend. How different on the pitching side are the roles for for guys like if Rocket were doing what he did on a, on a Sunday, would right. that be different than what he did last night, for example? Just in terms of length. Oh yeah, I mean if he's starting on Sunday, um, he he would we would let him go as long as he needed to go. Um, it just kind of fell for a Wednesday game, and you know trying to search for that Sunday starter and who's going to kind of be some of those guys and. Um, and and I would say sometimes on the midweeks too, the the roles are a little different because the starts aren't as long. So you end up, you know, Jalen Worthley goes a little bit earlier than he's typically going. Kyle Freilich goes a little bit earlier. Some of those guys. Um, but we felt like we had a bunch of guys lined up, which we did. And I, I thought outside of two innings, we pitched really well last night. Um, but yeah, the, the roles are different a little bit on the weekend and versus midweek is because Sears and McConaughey have given us length. So the, the, the roles have been a little bit more pronounced at times with some of that stuff. Um, and obviously, if we could have cashed in more runs early in that game, then we'd probably go to some different guys in the middle innings there, and then we could have used Worthley at the back of the game and some of that. So, but at the end of the day, we had guys on the mound at the end that were, had been in that spot before. So. Kyle, kind of as a veteran on this team, is talking about how what it takes to win this time of year. Yeah. What has your message been to some of the younger guys that haven't been in this situation? You got to fight for what you want. I mean. Um, you know, we've, we've been working hard just like everybody else has for the last nine months and, and you don't get to this point by hoping somebody else screws it up for you. you you've got to go take it. You've got to go, um, you got to go earn it. You've got to go fight for it. Uh, and you got to run through the finish line. That, that's kind of the message that we've been preaching. Um, and, you know, just that, that mentality of this is the most fun time of the year. Let's go, let's go play our best. Uh, most competitive brand of baseball right now. On the topic of Kyle, what kind of jokes he got queued up for him with his being his multiple senior day? Yeah, I think he's just in it for the gifts. I really do. I mean, he's he's got three of them now. I think that he's lined up. So I think he's he might be uh, hoarding those things in his parents' basement at this point. But uh, no, it, it's we're fortunate to have Kyle back. Obviously, he's been really good on the mound for us. But uh, he's been a great leader too. For, for the team. Yeah, he's done about everything. That you possibly do as a pitcher start yeah. back into games middle right now where does he maybe project he wants to continue playing after this year well it's i would say probably just due to his his health probably just where he is now just kind of in a short short bowl where he's you know the fastball plays up a little bit and he's left-handed and he's, he throws strikes so they usually place for guys like that give an update on Caden brumbaugh's health so brum is going to take bp today um we have not seen him take uh, like live arm BP since he got hurt. Uh, he has swung a little bit earlier this week off the tee and some front toss. Um, but
but he'll hit on the field today. And I think that's going to kind of determine where his his uh, likelihood to be on the roster for the weekend. If he can if he can swing it, there's going to be a little pain involved, but I don't know that there's much more injury risk involved. Um, I would imagine that he would be eligible to be on the roster this weekend. What, what do you kind of view as maybe the stakes these last couple regular season be consistent the range of outcomes that's on the line? Well, I mean, I, I know we know um, where, we're, where we're at in the standings, and, you know, you, you kind of have control of what you do. I mean, if you go continue to wet series and win games, then you've got a shot to finish at the top. And, you know, it's, it's a good feeling to be in the last two weekends of the season and having that opportunity, you know, knowing that if you go play great baseball for two weeks, you've got a chance to win the league. So, um, really, that's, that's where our focus is at. And, you know, our focus is, is that, you know, we need to get back on the right foot on Friday night and then go from there. What stands out about Indiana? Eight and a half runs a game. You know, they've got a pretty potent offense. And, um, you know, they've got guys at the bottom of the order with double-digit home runs. And, um, you know, they're, they're pretty dynamic with what they do offensively. And they started figuring some things out, I think, on the mound of how their pieces fit together. And they've got guys with stuff like they always do on the mound. Um, but, yeah, their lineup is very, very tough on the night. Kind of mentioned it on Tuesday night on your show. But Sears in the last couple starts. I mean, what, what's been different? I guess relative to his the way he's pitched. I, I would just say, honestly, I would say his his mound presence and attack from the get go hasn't been quite what it was up to the, the last two weeks. And um, he's been able to wiggle out of some jams because of his competitiveness throughout the year. And, and I think that maybe he had um, kind of chasing some of the numbers a little bit, I think, at times. And, again, I don't say that in a negative way. It's just human nature. But, you know, you, you set yourself up for this unbelievably high standard of, um, you know, ERA and some of these things, and you start to try to chase perfection a little bit versus remembering kind of what got you there in the first place it wasn't because you had the best fastball, breaking ball, or changeup. It was because – you were the most prepared and most competitive. And that, that that's the separator for, for really anybody. Um, but for somebody like Brett, who had to go prove himself this year, that's that's what he had that chip on his shoulder going out there. And I, I just, you know, I know I know he's going to get that back. I think he can recognize that, that maybe he um, needs to get back to that a little bit this weekend. And, uh, you know, I expect that from him. Thanks, Coach.